Ender 5 All Metal Extruder Replacement Video. Replace that. Grab four of those. I don't know what the sizes are. You'll figure it out. It's 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 a set. I don't know. Like they don't make numbers on them. There. All right. So you're gonna see. This is really simple. There's a top left screw. Pop that off. Top right screw. Pop that off. Now, if your Ender Five has some other kind of setup, then this video is not gonna help you. But if this is your traditional Ender Five, you got top two screws. And then you're gonna take this screw off, and this one's gonna have a little uh, tension on it. That's just one where the arm is on the bottom. It's a different size than the top two screws, I believe. I could be wrong. Let's spin this and see what happens. If it's starting to get a little hard, get a little stuck, put a little uh, motion on that arm, just like I did there. Bam. And keep spinning. Put a little motion. Grab that screw. Now, everything's going to fall off right here. So just be careful. Look, see? That's going to pop off. I don't know why that filament's in the picture. We're going to have to get rid of that. Ow! Good. See you later. Oh, no, the filament didn't like that. We're back. It's okay. All right, get that filament out of there. Doesn't need to be in your project. Get it out of there. Good. So now almost everything's off. The bottom half's off. Top half's off. So there's one screw left that's holding this whole thing on. Now, when you take this screw off, it's going to come off and your motor's going to fall. Watch. Trust me. Oh, no. Well, see, I told you. Look. My motor fell on the ground. So that last screw, that holds everything in. There it is. Creality 4240 motor. Nothing wrong with this motor. Don't need to replace it. But we do have to get that little uh, toothed gear off of there. So you're going to grab your smallest of those four tools. Ah, oh, crap. I dropped the camera again. That looked cool. Though. All right, take the smallest one, and there's going to be two little black grub screws, I think they're called. Loosen both of those off. Because your new hot end should come with a new one of these. Because you want some fine teeth on that thing. All right, now... See, it's going to go back in there like that. And you're going to put your little screw in. It's going to hold it in place. Now, if you're going to do like I do, look, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to grab one of my screwdrivers. Watch this. We're going to learn a lesson together. Yeah, let's put this through. Let's put the screw in. Hold on. Adjust the camera first. Good, 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 good. All right. As uh, we're doing this, this is a mistake I made. And you can make the same mistake. Hmm, what am I thinking about there? Looks like I'm trying to hold something, move a camera, find the right thing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, you ready? All right, put that screw. Oh, that's what I was doing, trying to grab that piece. All right, so grab your screw, put it in. Yeah, don't futz around. You'll get it in there. It's one screw. It's going to go in. Remember, it's going to hold the motor in. Now, what did we forget? Yes, we did. We forgot something. We'll experience the forget together. All right, look, it's on. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. Dang, that looks good. Make sure you torque that sucker up, but make sure all three screw holes are lined up, okay? Torque that sucker in. That's going to hold your motor on. It's going to hold the metal piece back. All right, here we go. Now, oh, yes, I need to stick this on. Yep, somewhere's around there. Oh, how am I going to get to the grub screws? Good question. We'll go through this painful lesson together. Ah, crap. Don't start dropping everything like I did. That thing goes in there, you'll see. It can only go one way. That's the uh, the bearing that'll spin. All right, as I futz around with this, I should probably cut out some of this video. We'll go through it together, just in case you're futzing around too. Gives you time to futz around with me and catch up. All right, so when you pull out that motor, and we'll get to it, I'm just gonna give you spoilers. There should be a little mark from where that thing was on before. Look. Oh, here, I'm learning my lesson. Maybe. Darn it. Take it back off. So don't do like I just did. Take that off. One screw off. Hold the motor this time. Thank you. Beautiful. All right. So as I'm saying, on your motor there, the shaft of your motor... See, so you probably want it about halfway up that shaft. It gives you enough wiggle. See, that's about halfway. 
look on your original motor to see if there's any kind of indents or grooves from where the first uh, piece was on, and then just try and line it up. There's enough w wiggle on that gear where you should have, you know, if you're off a little bit, that, that gear is pretty fat. So it's about halfway up, maybe a little bit more. Now, make sure those two screws are tight. If you don't tighten those screws, it's not going to be happy. Put your one screw back in. Line everything up. Nah, my hands don't work like they used to. Make the camera fall again. Make the camera fall again. That did look cool. If you rewind that, that one goes totally 360. All right, here, futzing around. Now remember, we had four screws. I don't four screwdrivers, torque screws, whatever these things are called. Get that one in. Boom. Make sure your other three holes are lined up. All right, everything's secure at this point now. Good. Now we can move on. Could have skipped four minutes of our lives there if I didn't futz around. All right, now we're going to take this. The screw goes up there. Look at this. Bam. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to look nice. Nope, not there yet. Wow, this is fun after the fact. And we're going to put those two top screws in, I believe. Yes. Dang, my hand looks ridiculous. Fish-eyed out on a GoPro. There you go. Yep, my hands are dirty. I've just been painting. All right, get that one in. That should be the same size as the other one. If you just lay them down, you'll go. You'll know exactly where they go. That one's there. I'll put the other one in. Good. That gives us three hard, hard mounting parts right there. This motor is not going anywhere. Next, you're going to put in the big bad assembly at the bottom. Okay. You should have one really long screw, and then you have another shorter screw that's going to go through the top and puts tension on it. Dun 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 dun. Ender three. Oh, this is Ender five. All right, check this out. All right, so you're going to get not that one, Johnny. Nope, no, nope, nope, that doesn't go there. Come on. See, we're learning together. Look, I dropped it. You'll drop it, too. You'll see. Oh, that fat one doesn't go there. Good. So if you have two screws left, the fat one doesn't go where the skinny one goes. Take your, ah, wah, take your skinny long one, stick it in there find your spring that you dropped put the little grommet back in the top that lets the uh, the screw push down on it so get everything in there little grommets on the top there you go see you can give, give it a little wiggle wiggle all right so that screw is going to go in there the adjustment there is going to depend on the pressure or how much everything's going to be pushed in look you can just kind of go with it here i'm going to tighten this one up first that one's a different size screwdriver as you see i think that's the Maybe the middle size. Maybe it's the biggest size. Maybe you don't even need four. I don't know. I had four. It seemed like at the beginning of this project I used four of these things. Maybe I only used three. All right, that one's tight there. Boom. All right, that one's the same. All right, that one's super snug. Now let's tighten this one up. This one you're just going to have to go with. This one goes in, uh, and it's meant to, um, yeah, you'll see. I mean, you can go all the way in, but you're going to fight the tension, so don't go all the way in. As you see, look, I'm just adjusting things. You just got to go with the feel. Is it supposed to wiggle a little? It's supposed to wiggle a lot? Stick the thing in, and uh, let's see what it feels like. Keep turning. Make sure it's all straight. That little grommet's straight. Make sure your spring's straight up and down. And then look, just use your fat thumb or skinny thumb, whatever you got, and move it. Now stick some stuff in there and see if it feels right. See if there's a gap. If it's being squished, if it doesn't move freely... I know, click the in. You should be able to see through the side, little little window. You can see. You know what it looks like. This isn't your first rodeo. Put that thing back on, or uh, your tube's not going to connect to anything. Screw that thing back on, and guess what? You just take, you just changed your plastic to all metal. Now you're going to get some sweet footage here. Flying in, raise, rise. All right, here you go. Look at this. This is going to be awesome footage, man. It's going to be like in there. Oh, wait. Crap. Get up there. I can't see anything. Terrible footage. All right, fly that thing up, would you? Come on. Oh, look at that. Yellow stuff's coming out. Guess what? I'm using yellow filament. That means everything is coming like it should. The extruder is extruding. The hot end's hot ending and melting things. 
And around we go, as you can see. And look, it's like almost chrome. It's like this gunmetal. Beautiful. Spin. You did it. I did it. It's all metal, baby. Go get them.